All right, y'all. I did get a request to show the Hoover Concept One doing a series of chores. And while there's not much I can really do here, I do have a chore that, one chore that is relatively straightforward that someone might have to do at some point. Like, let's say you already have your big vacuum out and uh, ready to go for even the next day. And someone just made a spill and you don't want to have to <laughs> go and grab a smaller vacuum like the uh, broom vac over there. All you got to do is like maybe put it in low speed. You don't even have to use a self-propelled. Like this mess of tobacco that got spilled here. Put it on two, actually three. There's one. Now, we'll go to the laundry room. I'm not gonna cut because <laughs> some of y'all have said you don't like cuts. <laughs> yeah, the concept is a really good unit, as I've stated many times in the past. There were attachments you could get for these, but uh, they seem to have been pretty much lost to time, really, because uh, I don't think too many people bought the attachment kits. And a uh, quick thing first, before I get on with this one, uh, Dominic Sykes, if you're watching this, I am going to gain access to the, uh, to the vice over there real soon. And, uh, I'll be straightening out the, uh, handle on your, on your Kirby Centria. So, uh, no worries there. And then it'll be ready for you when you are. Cause like I said, this, the buckle at the bottom where it goes onto the uh, base is bent. And Snoopy's RC, I will get to your request shortly. It's just, I don't wanna have do repetitive content. And I'm about to throw this fan out because nephew hasn't come back for it. I don't know if he watches this channel or not. Probably not because he doesn't really like vacuum cleaners at all. <clears throat> and some things that I have heard classify as repetitive, repeated uh, requests answered for one person. So don't worry, I will get to your request. I just gotta, I just gotta get <clears throat> some other content out. Like the uh, premiere I just uploaded not too long ago. So here we are. Let's say someone just tracked some stuff in through the garage. Uh, no, not that. And uh, you already got some lint from the dryer. And uh, It didn't make it to the, cause say your trash can's not like right in plain sight. And uh, you didn't make it and it already fell off. Well, again, the concept is pretty good for large clumps of lint, like even from the dryer. 
And if it's on a little rug, the transmission is up front, not in the back, so less catching, more vacuuming. Shoot it right up and ate it. Oh, and it smells good too because most people pretty much always put dryer sheets in their dryers. So, yeah, there's another one. Now we'll go on to the back porch. I know I just vacuumed that yesterday with the Royal, but uh. Yeah, it also works amazingly to clean up even the finest of dirt, or in this case, ashes. It doesn't have the longest cord in the world, but a, a great performance makes up for that. because the concept has its quadriflex or whatever they call it, brush roller. <clears throat> and I'll show that here in a moment. Let's just get it out here. Hey, Wayona. Wayona, you wanna be a part of my video? No, she just wants to go inside. <laughs> Oh, maybe her sister Soren wouldn't mind being in the video. Just kidding. She's going to bolt for the door as soon as this thing starts up. But yeah, even little fine particles such as even cigarette ashes. And that can easily be masked with air freshener. I find Febreze unstoppable pellets to be rather effective. Here we go. Oh, it would help if the outlet wasn't bad. Yep, she's heading right for the door. <laughs> And of course, it works for normal vacuuming too. And we'll come in here in the day room and all that just to show it. But before we get onto that, I'm gonna come inside and we'll put the uh, camera back on one. Cause uh, yeah, we all know iPhone, the new iPhones, they have a ridiculous amount of cameras. Oops. Let's get the cord on, done from the base. Yeah, but before we uh, plug this in, because the switch is so sensitive, well, let's show that brush roller. The concept almost always has this brush roller with brush strips, and then they have these like lumps up top, and that basically acts as like brush stiffeners. And it's the same with all four rows, with all four strips around. So 
So, let's do some more vacuuming, shall we? Since I don't have headlights. I do need to put some headlights in here because these things look pretty mean with their headlights. Some say these things are loud. Maybe they are if you got a lot of hard surfaces around, but not usually. Here we go. Whoops. Yeah, in high speed, it'll take off on you. Just come in here and do a normal vacuuming hopefully we got enough cord yeah older units this is back when people weren't worried too much about cord length like I'm not worried about cord length like if I have a short cord I don't make a big deal about it like some la di da rich Karens like to do I just simply take the plug, plug it into another outlet in another, in the room that I'm cleaning. And uh, yeah, I just uh, get back to work easy as this. Gotta move the rainbow out of the way from where I did the uh, hard floor video. Yeah, the concept was definitely one of Hoover's <clears throat> best units. I mean, they made a lot of good machines back in these days. Like, uh, they made the concept with the power drive. They made the uh, Power Max, like over here, that had onboard tools and a hose that converts automatically. Even though the tab here is broken, a little flap at the bottom that converts it to hose mode. <laughs> and apparently, they made it to where cats could uh, also enjoy the soft cloth bag on these. Just kidding. She absolutely hates it with a passion. But yeah, they made these with their onboard tools. Some of them had the speed dial up here. It was just a slider. 
And they also gave it Power Surge, which is a amazing feature that Hoover used to have to get the embedded dirt out of the high traffic areas. This one had a definitely different brush roller compared to the concept, which is this like flat roller. And it works amazingly, but uh, it doesn't have the uh, brush stiffeners like the uh, concept, concept does. Now the concept doesn't have the same brush stiffeners that some Royals had because of course Royal, they don't have the replaceable brush strips. So uh, yeah, the concept was, I don't know if this would have cost more than the concept, probably so because it has more bells and whistles than the concept. Uh, but yeah, the concept was definitely one of the, uh, more top ranging units. And, uh, unlike the concept, the Power Max over there doesn't have the air freshener on the bag. I don't have any tablets to put in here, but, uh, I will probably get some from Auric because Auric makes these same tabs. But yeah, the concept... They had plenty of sales. I know that for a fact. My grandma had one. It had the, like I said in the last video, it had the handle like my Power Max, but it was blue. It was a blue handle. <clears throat> so, um, and it had the switch and everything up here as well. The drive wasn't a button. Like the drive lock wasn't a button it was a actual slider like the power max and uh also it didn't have a cord reel like this one does this one is definitely a more luxury type concept with the cord reel i know it's not necessarily a luxury unit like the concept too but still Speaking of concept twos, I wouldn't mind putting one like right next to this. I know the concept two is basically <laughs> just like this unit, but a more uh, luxury unit because you can unplug the cord from it. I think it plugs into the side, get the helpmate, plug the cord into that and clean furniture and all that with it. Not to mention, it's, like I said, it's like the Power Max where it has the uh, variable speed thing. But yeah, there's the uh, Hoover Concept doing various chores. Like we got the normal vacuuming like I just did. We got the uh, fine dirt pickup. We got the uh, quick cleanup, like the spill cleanup. Like if, you're stu if you stuff cigarettes like I do. And you spill it, you, and you've already got the concept plugged in and all that to vacuum after you got done with the, with the puff and all that. You can clean up your mess. And uh, like most people, the concept would probably be kept in a laundry room or linen closet or whatever nearby. You can easily grab it if you don't have a small vacuum like the broom vac. And, uh, yeah, it's a good machine. It deep cleans very well. It, at least, uh, depending on, I guess, like, depending on which pedal your foot's closest to. You can recline the handle from either side. So, yeah, that's the, uh, various chores. Like, you can clean up after a dryer vent accident. Someone... Uh, tracking dirt in, clean up little messes with it, even though it is a bigger unit, and clean up after a smoker, because at least this thing does have an air freshener that you can use. You can put a air freshener tablet in here, and you can still buy these. You can buy them from Warwick. So, yeah. 
That's it for this one. Tell me how y'all liked it. Tell me what y'all want to see. I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, and when I can do it, and if I can do it. I know some of these are probably more unreasonable chores for it, but still, it works for all. It works for all cleanups that don't involve heavy objects. So, again, tell me how you liked it. Tell me what you want to see. I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, when I can do it, and if I can do it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content if you haven't yet. And until next time, bye, y'all.